Okay, the topic is isotopes. The element silver, AG, has two natural occurring isotopes, AG109 and AG107, with a mass of 106.995 unified atomic mass unit. Silver consists of 51%, 51.82% of uh, 107 silver and has an average atomic mass of 107.868 unified atomic mass. Calculate the mass. So let's understand the question first. We have uh, two silvers. Uh, we need to look what's the number is given. This is an important number. Okay. Average atomic mass of silver is 107.868 unified atomic mass unit. So we have two isotopes one of them is ag107 another is isotopes is ag109 the they give percentage of 107 silver 82 percent that's what they give and they asking you what will be the mass of this also they give the mass of this 106 like very precise mass you actually can see why should i solve it if i already have the mass no that's not precise they want you to be more precise on, on that and they're asking you on, on on that number so what's here they just want to find what's the mass of ag 109 sorry that's not g, g it's a great it's unified because we calculate only mass of one atom. Okay, how many? How much will be of that unified atomic mass? In order to find that first number, we need to discuss what's percentage. Because we're gonna apply this formula, atomic weight is equal to sum of isotopes percentage times by isotope mass and divided by 100 we will apply this so let me put it over here but first of all your first step will be identify how many percentage left well that's easy because the total is 100 percent and they already give you 51 percent so when you look at the numbers this will be 48.18 percent now the average atomic mass just finding you will multiply these two numbers and combine them when you're going to combine them you're going to find average atomic mass which is equal to 107.868 and you find atomic mass so let's do that so i can write by that formula 107 this is 107 867 is equal to Okay, I can 100, I can make it 100. And now, the sum of two isotopes, I will have two isotopes, and I need to multiply them. 51.82 times, and I have the mass of first isotope, 106.905. The next isotope is 48.18 times. Well, now I can put some x like A, for example, because it's kind of be hard. When you solve this equation, when you solve this equation, what you will get? You will get, or let's, if you want to solve it together, uh, I will do 10786.8 is equal to, let's, let's find this number here, 5182 times 106905 well you can do that uh, without the percentage so this will be much easier if you want 8171 plus 48.18a and after that you will subtract So in this side, when you subtract that side, 52.46.98.29 is equal to 48.18a. And now you can find the a by just dividing that over 48.18. 
well you will get the huge number 108 times 9037547 go on that's that's not our final answer we need to look at the significant figures how many significant figures they uh, provide in the beginning of that we started the calculations of that we have two numbers we have two numbers when you have multiplication so we have six significant figures over here and four significant figures when you're working with the percentage you're going to choose the least one so that's one two three four unified atomic mass units and this will be our answer